So it's currently 12.27 in the morning. And I got a lot on my mind. So let's let's just back it up. I just finished watching a video by Kai Foster titled I Have No Dreams or Aspirations. And it was only one minute long and it had like one point two million views. So I was like, okay. What what's the talk? And this is like stuff I already like think about on a daily basis. I watched a video and I was like, like I already think about this, but it's the fact that other people are thinking about it too. <laughs> and then there was like over a thousand comments. And I was just reading people's perspective and stuff. Didn't really learn anything specifically, but it just made me think more. And I just thought about, first of all, the thought that has been reoccurring in my mind for so, not for so long, but this year, heavy, like real heavy. And it's, I don't want to have to change literally anything about myself for anyone, whether it's a professional setting, whether it's with family, whether it's with adults, like whether it's for YouTube, because people are watching me, like whether it's t like any social media, whether it's anything. <laughs> like I'm tired of us being told this is not appropriate. Unless, of course, I'm heavy on the if it's hurting someone, whether it's physically or mentally, then that doesn't include what I'm talking about. Like as long as I'm being a genuine good person and living in my truth, then I feel like I sh why are people telling us that we can't do this and that? And let me give let me give details like <clears throat> the the main thoughts that I've been having recently is that I want to be myself completely and show that to the world and that is regarding if I want to smoke a blunt <laughs> and record myself and talk about some real shit if I want to curse <laughs> in front of a camera and upload it But of course, it's like, we're supposed to beat that out. That's not appropriate. You're going to, jobs are going to look at this. Parents are watching. I'm so over it. Like, I'm so over it. To the point where it's just like, I do not care. I don't. And with no disrespect, <laughs> like the only reason why I'm doing things like being in school, working to get a job, is so I can live. It's so that I won't have a miserable life. But at the same time, <laughs> I did not choose to be here. <laughs> Why do I have to work my butt off to get good grades, to get a good job, to have a good life, when I didn't ask to be here? <laughs> It makes no sense. So I have come to 
the philosophy. And I've already come to this this theory, but it's a matter like it, you could come to the conclusion of something, but then not want to take action. Fear taking action. And I feel like today <laughs> is my I'm living I'm gonna live in my truth. Like I'm I'm tired of watering down myself. I'm doing that and to a certain extent. I'm tired of putting a filter over myself to make other people feel comfortable or to fit what capitalism wants me to do. Like I don't even know if that made sense because I I I don't even know the right the correct definition of capitalism but I know that it's the, the idea that we're supposed to be working in order to make a living and da 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 there that stuff whatever yeah <laughs> I'm tired of that I'm tired of people who are closed-minded who feel like I owe them anything like I I'm here for a good time Like, if I, like, the fact that I didn't even ask to be here, but I am here, shouldn't I do whatever I want? Like, I feel like if I didn't ask to be here, I should at least be able to do what I want with my life. Like, I'm tired of hearing... <laughs> What I'm supposed to be doing or what I'm not supposed to be doing. What I'm supposed to be failing. What I'm not supposed to be failing. And the comments from that video made me think like. We're all mentally ill. <laughs> mentally ill. And heavy quotations on that because. I feel like. People emphasize depression and anxiety like it's some rare thing or like people don't talk about it but everybody is going through shit everyone is going through something heavy like we don't know no one everyone is confused everyone is just out here winging it and we go through emotions we go through things And then we put a label on it, anxiety, depression, bipolar, whatever. We're just experiencing this life and going through it. <laughs> whatever happens afterwards is just a part of the experience. Everyone is mentally ill. <laughs> There's no one who knows how to just get by. Cause there's no plan <sighs> and the thing is if I drop out of school not only do I feel like I'm too deep in this because I go to a, a expensive school but yes I want to have fun but sadly I need food to live. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need food to live. I need money to live. If I didn't need money to live, there's so many, I, like, think about it. We would be living so differently if people didn't need money in order to survive, in order to live the life that they desire. And I feel like there's nothing wrong with wanting a specific life but I don't like the fact that we have to go through things like school <laughs> in order to get there and I know it seems so simple like Elise it's just school but no like why does everyone why is everyone supposed to go through that sometimes school is just not for you 
sometimes that is just not for you. Like we're all different people. <laughs> we didn't come here to just be the same and live the same lives. Some people just can't function in school. And I'm not saying I can't. I, I, can, make sh I can make shit shake. But I don't want to. I am. But I don't want to. <laughs> but that's, not, that's not something I really want to make shake. Like, this is not how we're supposed to be living. We're supposed to be doing what we want to do. Like, no one... No one knows why we're, we're, why we're here, bruh. No one knows. Like, we talk about, oh, what's the purpose of this? People are trying to guess and assume what this purpose is. It could be a good thing that we don't know the answer. But it could also be a very, like, confusing moment for you to understand that there is no real purpose. If you're not going to live your life and be happy, like, if you're not going to do things that make you happy completely, why are you living? Why are you here? And I'm asking that to myself too, like, why am I here? If I'm still putting a filter on myself, if I'm still restricting myself to a certain extent, if I'm still letting people's opinions that I feel like I respect interfere with what I want to do with my life, interfere with the things that I find enjoyment in, like I like I understand where they're coming from and some of them really truly want the best for me but at the same time if I don't if I don't <laughs> get a job I like get a good job so be it like literally so be it that wasn't meant for me. <laughs> At least I could say that I lived a good life though. And did what I wanted to do along the way. A lot of people can't say that. And a lot of people have gone through life and died and couldn't say they lived a good life because they lived it for other people. And I've never been the person to seek validation But that's when you like when I say that it's like no I don't see validation but at the same time if I am withholding myself to a certain extent in order to not be seen as someone who is not going to get a job in the future <laughs> then in a way I'm doing that for validation like Cause sometimes I would ask my sister like, is this appropriate to post or am I doing too much or should I not post this? Should I post this? Because I may be smoking in it. Like I posted TikTok with me smoking in it. And I was hesitant. Cause it was like, do I really wanna do this? But I love the TikTok. I loved it. And I posted it. So, I'm tired, like, more of the story, I'm tired of hearing what I should and not, sh like, should and should not be doing. As long as I'm not hurting anyone, and I'm remaining genuine, I don't, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do what I want to do. I cannot continue my life. <laughs> living like that and I'm not going to because I feel like I will be wasting it like if I get to be here if I was chosen to come down here went to earth I feel like I have enough reason to live in my complete truth like that's that's a enough like that's a good enough reason for me to do that because I didn't have to be here. You didn't have to be here. But we are. 
So if you're going to continue to waste your time, <laughs> then go right ahead. But I'm choosing today, right, ha right now, April 22nd, 2021, to, to just stop. To just completely stop giving a fuck. Yep. I said it on a YouTube platform. I'm done giving a fuck. <laughs> Washing my hands with it. <laughs> because at the same time, I also, when I was looking through the comments and watching the video, I also thought about like the people who are telling me not to do this and that to be cautious of your platform which i'm going to still do like because i can't even be inappropriate because i'm just not even an inappropriate person like but like i wouldn't do that to my platform because like that's just not me anything that i like would see as negative i w i'm not even the type of person to do that so the people who are telling me not to smoke on my YouTube channel or smoke in the public or curse or to go to school. <laughs> Those people also are not living in their truth. Those people also are not completely happy with what they're doing currently. Those people fear living in their truth. Those people want to be free, but feel like they can't get by doing that. And even if I don't get by in the corporate eye, I don't want to. Didn't want to. Did people think about that? I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to satisfy the corporate eye. Like, that's not what I... That's not what I'm coming here to do. <laughs> that's not what I'm choosing to do. I didn't choose to do that. I didn't want to do that. I'm not going to do it. What I want to do, because this is my life, <laughs> and God sent me down here, is do what the fuck I want to do. <laughs> so yeah, you'll realize that as you grow older, the judgments that you've made about people is first of all, you projecting. Like, if you're truly happy, then you wouldn't make any negative judgments about anyone because you don't care. You're happy. But when people judge like someone having a baby at an early age, someone doing something that's not typically in the structured, ideal way of life, people lift an eyebrow and are concerned. But it's none of your business, first of all. And no one said that there's a certain way someone is supposed to live we never said that y'all came up with that <laughs> and if you want to live and happy and follow what other people the standards of other people the standards of society then go ahead by all means do your thing but i i'm deciding not to and if you want to lift an eyebrow go right ahead go right ahead and I was even hesitant starting this video because in like saying out loud that today I was going to start living in my truth because I was like, am I ready? Like, am I truly ready for this? <laughs> and I'm being dramatic because I follow people who be smoking on their channels or just openly doing what they want. I follow people like that. 
And I know that they, they probably probably didn't even think anything about it. They're just living, not even caring. I just saw one on one again. But to me, since I've been hearing over and over again not to do this and that, and to decide for myself right now that I'm not going to listen. And it's not because I want to hurt anyone. Because <laughs> who is that hurting? If anything, that's hurting me. It's not because I want to be a rebel child. It's not because I'm a bad person. It's just because I want to choose myself. It's just because I don't want to waste this life that I'm in. It's just because... I'm everything that I could ever ask for, truly, down to my government name. I love my name, <laughs> down to my internal soul and the way I think and how I'm, I don't want anything from anyone. I just want to be surrounded by good energy. That's very rare. Someone always wants something from someone, and I don't. Down to my appearance, yes, I'm a toot my horn. I'm a beautiful person. So if I love everything about myself, I also want to love everything about my life and what I choose to do because it's in my control. Yes, I feel like people think that their circumstance is permanent. Or that their parents, or whatever the case may be, may have a big impact. Well, it does have an impact, but have a big, have con complete control in, what's the word I'm looking for? And dictate really what your, what your life is going to be. But it doesn't. It doesn't. It really doesn't. <laughs> because... When you really look at life and see it just for what it is, the simple part of it, your parents are just regular human beings with mental issues as well, just like you, who decided to have children at whatever age they were, at whatever time they were at in their lives, whatever they were going through, and whatever they still are going through like that's literally that could have that could be you growing up and making that same decision having kids they're regular people so when you look at it as that hear what people have to say but also make your own decisions because you only have one life and you do not want to be gone and then realize you didn't even live and it doesn't help that we're in the middle of a freaking pandemic like why when i'm having this realization that i can do anything i want covid is hanging over my head so yeah i'll see y'all in my next video i was gonna say like i hope y'all enjoyed if you didn't, you didn't. If you did, you did. This was really for me and also it it is to inspire, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't. I'll see y'all in my next video. Stay tuned for whatever is to come. Because I don't know. At this point, like we're living in our troop now, like so anything can happen. <laughs> yeah. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.